Hi and welcome back, it's Vicky here and today I'm showcasing the latest card kit by Simon Says Stamp. This is a kit which is all about fall and Thanksgiving in a lovely color combo. So just like always, first we are going to take a quick look on what's included and then I'm going to share some inspiration. The stamp set that is included is a big 6x8 stamp set. It has a lovely big flower composition for you to color as well as some standalone flowers and uh, a birdie and it comes with lots and lots of sentiments perfect for thanksgiving you will also find in the kit three transfer seats now these have lovely fall designs as you can see here they give you like trees and pumpkins as well as a big sentiment and this one is super cute with all the critters at the bottom you can use them as they are if you want they are great for creating uh, shaker cards but the actual idea is to use them with the foils these are the foil, deco foil that is included a package of five deco foils inside in a lovely copper color you just place it on top of the acetate and then you run it through your laminator and it's going to stick where you see the black lines the kit also includes some basic supplies such as these three envelopes. There is also a pack of foam strips which are by um, Daris. These are very thin, super super thin, perfect for uh, sticking them at the back of uh, tiny little elements or even at the back of uh, some of your sentiment strips. Now in terms of sentiments you will find a page which is packed with lots and lots of sentiments perfect for Thanksgiving. You will find lovely ones here. Just use your scissors to cut them out, your paper trimmer or even a die, a sentiment die. Here is a pack of uh, sequins in a lovely copper color in different sizes, really sparkly. And here is the 6x6 paper pad. Now, the color combo in this paper pad is absolutely stunning. It's uh, probably my favorite product in this kit. I love the pumpkins and I will be using these ones on my card today. All these papers are uh, double-sided, but you get two pages from each design, so you can use pretty much front and back. These are three pre-folded card bases and remember that if you like something and you don't want to get the whole kit then you can find the links below to every product individually. And finally this is the cardstock that you get in three different colors. Today I'm going to share a card using products from the kit and I'm starting by cutting out a panel from the brown cardstock. Now this is four and a quarter by five and a half so it's going to cover up completely a standard card and I'm going to pair this one with a couple of pattern papers. I chose the one with the pumpkins just because it is my favorite and I'm trying to find a solid one that would match nicely. I finally went with this uh, orange one and I'm going to cut both of those papers to be slightly smaller than the standard card so they will give me a little border so that's three and three quarters by five I am repeating the same process for the other pattern paper again three and three quarters by five so when I lay one on top of the other they are exactly the same the pattern paper with the pumpkins is going to go on top and I'm going to distress it in many different ways. So I will use this distressor on the edges. I will use my scissors to cut out notches, but first I'm going to bring in my distress oxide ink and that's vintage photo. I used my blending tool and very lightly I applied some color, not too much. Now I'm going to go all around the edges and distress them. You can use a pair of scissors if you don't have a, such a tool like I'm using here. And then finally I'm going to bring in my scissors and I'm going to cut out three notches on three sides. The idea is to make this paper look old and vintage. I'm going to distress those notches as well and then curl them up. And when you are creating cards for fall or even for Thanksgiving, a great idea is to bring in some texture using burlap. It provides a great element to stick your sentiment on top or even your focal points and the color of it matches perfectly with the fall colors. The, fall, the colors of the pumpkins, the, the oranges, the yellows and the green ones that you usually work with for fall cards. Now I'm going to use some double sided tape and stick it down. And this provides a lovely area where I will add some focal points as well as my sentiment. Now I'm using some Anuvo Deluxe glue at the back, making sure that they don't go all the way towards the edges since I want them to be lifted. 
for some dimension, and you can see that through those notches you can now see the paper underneath. Now I'm going to work on my sentiment, for that I'm working on top of the brown cardstock and I will uh, white emboss the sentiment that says just a note to say thanks. Now if you notice on my craft table I do have a couple of cut out pumpkins. This came from the leftover pattern paper that uh, I used and I just fuzzy cut a couple of pumpkins leaving a white border all around. I used my heat gun to melt the embossing powder and I do have some powder where I didn't want it to be, but that's no problem, I will cover it up completely later on. And now I'm going to run this through my die cutting machine using a sentiment die that has some fish tail uh, details on each side. I popped the sentiment on my card by using some foam tape at the back and I'm going to embellish one side of the sentiment using the two pumpkins that I fuzzy cut. And if you notice with that tiny pumpkin, I did cover up that booboo that I had from embossing on my sentiment. And now since I have those sequins, I'm going to stick three of them on the other side of the sentiment, just to add a little bit of sparkle. And here is a close-up look on the finished card using products from the latest card kit by Simon Says Stamp. If you like, you can have sequins coming through those notches for some extra sparkle. And here are some close-up photos on the card that I shared for today. If you want a chance to win this card kit, I do have a giveaway on my blog, make sure to visit and leave me a comment there. I hope that you had fun today, that you got inspired, thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all next time.